Hello everybody, this is uh, the Coffee Cup Robot here, um, having a bit of a coffee break uh, and figured I'd talk about these Jason Freeney uh, micro-anatomic figures, which is the use of the Lego minifigure base. Um, hold on, I need some coffee. Um, it's just the use of the Lego minifigure base for a traditional Freeney-esque slant on things. He does a lot with the dissection of the pop culture things. Um, one of my favorite ones is, if you get a chance to see it, there's a video, or it should be on YouTube, of um, him doing it to just a just a DIY money. And uh, I think that looks fantastic. He's done uh, Mario and Barbie and, and, and a whole bunch of other people like that. And uh, yeah, it's really cool stuff. I was, Big Lego fan, I think a lot of people are, so it was cool to get these things uh, released. Uh, if you don't know much about Freeney, just you know, Google Images, you'll find lots and lots of cool stuff. Um, pretty much the gist of it is most things are this core, you know, quarter cut and dissection of what it would be like if it was an actual living creature, um, uh, or in this case, minifigure. Um, and the release that I have here is three different colorways. Uh, the two on the right, even the, the, you know, the one on the right is um, the standard colorway. These two are pretty much tributes to cause, even though that's the more obvious one. That's more standard, but you can find, you know, if you, if you look up the, these figures on Google Images, you'll see lots of cause stuff with it. I don't have any cause toys, so I can't really show them off with it. Um, and the monochrome version, I'm not sure if Cos ever came out with the monochrome version. I'm sure he did. I know he came out with all black versions of stuff, so maybe that's also a Cos thing. I'm not 100%. Um, but yeah, really cool. Uh, as you can see, there are, again on the blog, there was a bit more in-depth pictures of these. Uh, they were just really, people liked them and responded to it. So I figured I'd do a video while I'm having a little coffee break. Um, so green one's kind of cool. It's really cool with Halloween kind of coming up. It's that kind of creepy, weird colors, that sort of stuff. Uh, green and black is my favorite color combo. So yeah, do you like that? Still think this is the standout of the lot. Um, looks really, really cool. Um, yeah, and so I figured I'd, I'd, I'd bring out a couple toys for size comparisons because everyone has been asking how big these are. I'm pretty sure I have to dig these out and, uh, and figure it out. Um, that these are the same size as those little torches, the little torch keychains that you get from Lego. I have a couple in boxes somewhere. I've, to be honest with everyone, I re I just moved house to a different country and everything's still an absolute mess. That's why we're, you know, sitting in my kitchen uh, looking at stuff. And I'm, I'm, I apologize for the state of the countertop. I just made my uh, little one's baby formula, so there's crap everywhere. Um, uh, here we go, next to a, I figured a lot of art toy people would have dunnies rolling around, uh, a little bit taller uh, than a dunny at the ears. Um, here is a Naboto from Glyos, but uh, so way taller than a Naboto. Um, here is a standard six inch figure, and we're gonna push these back. What? So we're all in shot, but maybe not. Oh, further than I thought. Um, that gives you an idea of scale. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, and bring that back up here. I think the one everybody wants, Lego minifigure. So that's pretty much it for having a look at some size comparisons. It was just you know having a cup of coffee. I figured I'd do a quick little video um, for fun, really. Um, so I hope you enjoy. These are currently for sale on the Mighty Jacks website. That's Jacks with two X's. And they're really cheap for what you get. They're, I think, 20 bucks US and then shipping from Singapore. I live in Singapore, so that worked out well for me. Um, just moved here a month ago. But uh, yeah, so I do recommend getting them. You can get one, you can get all three. Uh, the clear on was a, uh, exclusive to the convention. Oh, just so people know, right side, completely unarticulated. Left side, you've got arm and leg, no wrist. 
uh, just so people know. But I don't really think these are the type of thing you move around. They just they're kind of more of a statue sort of looking thing. Anyways, thank you so much. I'll stop wasting your time um, and enjoy. Thank you.